All right. The first thing I'd like to do is say sorry for the distorted audio as I'm recording from my phone, and my phone's audio is awful because it uses the same microphone as it uses when I'm talking on the phone. Anyway, um, all right, I haven't done this for seven or eight months, it seems like seven and a fraction of months. Anyway, uh, there's been a lot of changes. So, we'll start. Two level h and m equipped with Schindler escalators and a Schindler 338, hospital-sized double-speed doors. You've seen them before. I can uh, put a video link to another one that's probably identical uh, in the description. Uh, Steve Madden moved here, which, that, that was pretty recent. They just opened uh, March 1st, I believe, or something like that. Uh, Forever 21, also two levels, also from the 338. The difference is one the door. Okay, these people are sort of not getting on the escalator. These are the Schindler escalators that got moved in a 90 degree angle, really rebuilt um, in a 90 degree angle. So. Yeah, but the Forever 21 single speed uh, Shimmer 338, you've seen them before. Uh, they, they have the same thing at Willow Grove Mall. I don't even know. I filmed it, but I don't know if I uploaded it. I might have actually deleted the video. But I can put a link uh, to a video of a similar elevator in the description as well. Um, New York and Company is apparently going to be moving to a location over there near H&M. There's a lot of new stores. Uh, there's stores uh, coming and going as they please. Uh, to throughout this door, it's a sliding or an automatic sliding glass door. Yeah, actually, Forever 21 has been having problems with the fire alarms there. Uh, ESP um, Genesis Genesis or whatever the plural is for that keep going off. Damn, I don't have a lot of battery on this thing. All right. WMG sucks, but the good thing about that is that uh, the um, blah, 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 sorry. The uh, music, they, they put music outside of all en entrances here, uh, whether it be in the corridor or the plaza. I believe they combined the music systems. But I'm, I'm actually, actually, I don't think they did, they did because, uh, I mean, they have the same tracks on each of the three music systems, but uh, the three different music systems are South Plaza, North Plaza, and Court. Uh, here's your parking deck, here's your parking lot. Um, yes, things have changed. <sighs> Goodness. Uh, in this new wing, they have a, I believe, Schindler, I'm pretty sure it's Schindler, uh, freight elevator with Innovation Bruiser. Uh, it's back there in the all-new receiving area 7. Uh, basically, the way that receiving areas work is 1 through 7 are in the plaza, A through C are in the court. C is really the pavilion, which is not the court because Simon 100% owns the pavilion and now with the new ownership, Simon only like 97% owns the rest of the mall. But they still are uh, as rude as they would be if they owned it 100%. There's still some families around here in the Philadelphia area uh, that haven't given up their ownership. There's a, there's a big process and stuff. But, you know, it's annoying. All right. Here's our um, bigger hospital-sized elevator at, in the parking deck, the east parking deck. It's currently not working, but that's probably because of a failure or something. It, it actually has been working. They turned it back on. Uh, they might keep it, actually. Uh, they'll, they definitely will demolish that one because that's in their way of uh, the new wing. By the way, I did get word that the new wing will start sometime this year. Uh, I'm not sure when. Um, but it won't end until the end of next year, uh, which is during the beginning of the, my junior year, 
because I'm only a freshman now. Uh, by the way, speaking of that, I changed school districts. So now my school uh, has system sensor spectralists, uh, classics. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of stuff. But they're in continuous. They're continuous. It's been haunting me. Uh, but yeah. So, not too many changes here. That's still receiving number six. Nothing much has changed here. There is a new service corridor entrance over here, the new wing service corridor. But it's sort of weird. Uh, sorry if you can't hear me. Like people. I often go in that entrance, not the new service order entrance, but the older one because it's like they don't give people an entrance from the first floor of the um, parking deck to the mall, so nobody really cares when I use it. But besides the point, the Macy's up there, New Marcus, Macy's, New Marcus, yeah. This elevator. This is a piece of Schindler, isn't it? Alright, we'll go up to just two. This isn't an elevator video. It smells like urine. So, that's probably because someone got stuck in here. That's probably it. Someone probably got stuck in here and had to use the restroom. So, so lay there. Go into the mall through the fairly new uh, entrance. Oh, look, it's not working. It's turned off. This is fine. I'm not gonna complain. This one looks like it was turned off in the middle of it being opening. <laughs> it's okay. Or being open. Sorry. My grammar sucks today. Uh, not too many new stuff, or too much new stuff, I don't know. Uh, that is, it, it was, it, it was originally California Cafe, like this entire area used to be California Cafe. That's becoming a Layla's Boutique, which is like a little kid's store, I think it's like a one uh, mom and pop store or something like that. Um, they already have like put themselves in like three other locations including the old Apple Store location which I will get to in a little bit not too much new has been going on up here other than the Athleta and Firm 21 of course the uh let's talk about the H&M there's no stairwell like it has been for the last like more than a year when they took it out from the sprinkler malfunction I believe that was supposed to happen as well the taking it out because yeah, I don't know. Big thumb. So it keeps hitting the buffer. Can't give out one day, but I think they replaced the motor uh, like a year ago or something. It's like kissing crap, I believe. Because it's not as bad as it used to be. Alright. There's your new Apple store. I went on Facebook in there earlier and uh, one of the, or a couple of the employees knew that I was on Facebook, so they got on one of the other computers and went on their admin login and they started messing around with me, like, saying, help, I'm stuck in the computer. Which was funny and crude, and I knew I shouldn't be going on Facebook, but whatever. All right, Tesla will open soon. Swatch will open soon. Diesel just opened. I think they used to actually be somewhere within this wing before they had to tear it down with the straw bridges, or Wanamakers, whatever you want to call it. Sea Wonder recently opened. Sea Wonder's from this 
I believe it's from Sarah. I'm not sure. But uh, it was started by Tori Birch's husband, and my dad knows him somehow. Through. He has a lot of connections. It's weird. Like, he used to know the Clothier family from Strawbridge and Clothier. Like, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're back here. There's Burton, there's Marmo. Uh, uh, they're not connected, but they put them right next to each other for a competition or something. I don't know. Again, I'm not going to be filming the Forever 21 or the H&M because there's no point. You've seen identical elevators to them, and, you know, whatever. All right. And we are back where we started, so I will end the video here.